Good morning. I, Mrs. V. A. Yavle, Assistant Professor in Department of Electrical Engineering, AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, would be discussing how to calculate the main dimensions of an induction motor. So let's begin with the numerical. Let's see numerical on calculation of the main dimension of an induction motor. Let's see what the numerical is. Find the main dimensions of a 15 kilowatt, 3 phase, 400 volt, 50 hertz, 2810 rpm squirrel cage induction motor which has an efficiency of 0.88, power factor is 0.9, specific magnetic loading 0.5 Weber per meter square, Specific electric loading 25,000 amperes per meter, rotor peripheral speed 20 meters per second, number of poles 2 and winding factor 0 0.955. So as we have seen with the earlier numerical to this numerical also we are supposed to write down first all the given data. Right. So the solution begins with Specific magnetic loading is denoted by the symbol BAV that is B average which is given by 0 0.5 Weber per meter square. Specific electric loading is having the symbol AC which is 25,000 amperes per meter. Rotor peripheral speed is given by 20 meters per second. So with this we would consider initially that the rotor diameter is same as the stator diameter neglecting the air gap. This is very important here to note. So we would be getting a relationship that pi capital D N S is equal to 20 okay winding factor is nothing but 0 0.955 so kw is 0 0.955 number of poles is 2 so number of poles is given to us that is small p is 2 Right, the rating of the machine it is 15 kilowatt, a three phase motor. Frequency is 50 hertz, it is a three phase motor with the KW root rating being 15 kilowatt. Right, the speed which is given is 2810 rpm, students. Right. So, this is again a point of concern. We have to note here that we have to assume the nearest synchronous speed. Okay. So, the nearest synchronous speed, nearest synchronous speed to the given value, okay, 250 hertz is 3000 rpm okay and we are converting this to rps that is revolutions or rotations per second which you have to always remember this is very important okay so let's convert this so i'll get ns is equal to we know it is 120 f upon p so 120 f upon p will give me the value that is 120 into 50 divided by 2 will give me 3000 that I have already told you which is the nearest synchronous speed. Now this synchronous speed which we had obtained nearest synchronous speed in RPM has to be converted to RPS to solve the numerical. So we will just convert it and so NS will be 3000 divided by 60 which will give me 50 RPS. So, this is one of the important consideration. Okay. So, once you have finalized all these parameters, then we can actually start 
with the numerical. Now let's see what we are supposed to find. So they have asked us that find the main dimensions of the induction motor. So when we talk about the main dimensions of the induction motor, the main dimensions are nothing but capital D and capital L where capital D actually stands for the diameter and capital L stands for the stator core length. Both of them are in meters. So this is what we are supposed to calculate. Now let's see how to proceed with the numerical. So the first step is we are supposed to find the value of Q okay which is the rating of the motor which is given by the KW rating of the motor divided by efficiency into the power factor. So the rating of the motor is 15 kilowatt. Efficiency which is given to us is 0 0.88 and power factor is 0 0.9 this is already given so we will calculate Q which comes out to be 18.94 right now we already know that the output coefficient that is C naught or C subscript 0 is given by 11 BAV AC KW into 10 raised to power minus 3. So we already have the values of magnetic specific magnetic loading, specific electric loading and winding factor. So we will just put this values 11 specific magnetic loading is 0 0.5 specific electric loading is 25,000 and the winding factor is 0 0.955 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So this gives the output coefficient as 131.31 after calculation. It gives the value 131.31. Now let's go to the next step. The next step is now we have to calculate d square l. We get d square l by the formula Q upon C0 into Ns. From where do we get this? Because we already know that Q is equal to the output coefficient d square L multiplied by the speed. Mention here the speed has to be in RPS. So from this formula we have got d square L is equal to Q upon C0 Ns where d square L are d and L are nothing but the main dimensions of the induction motor. Now we have the values Q we have obtained is 18.94 from the earlier step. C naught that is the output coefficient comes out to be 131.31 and the speed in RPS is 50. Once we calculate this we get the value as 2.88 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter cube all the dimensions being in the standard unit. So this is the next step. Right now they have given us the rotor peripheral speed. So we have already assumed that the rotor diameter is equal to the stator diameter. So from there we get pi d ns is equal to 20. I have the value of ns. So when I put this directly I can get the value of d as 20 divided by pi ns. ns we have already calculated it is 50 rps. We know pi just you have to put the values and find the value of d. So d comes out to be 0 0.1275 meters. Once we have calculated this we can put the value of d in the earlier expression and we can get the value of capital L that will be the sixth step. So we already know that d square L is 2.88 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter cube. 
when we put the value of d we get l is equal to 2.88 into 10 raised to power minus 3 upon 0.1275 whole square which gives me the value of l as 0.1771 meters so this is one of the answer and this is another answer both of this that is capital d is equal to 0 0.1275 meters and capital l is 0 0.177 meters these are nothing but the main dimensions of the induction motor where capital d stands for the diameter and capital L stands for the stator core length. Both the diameters are, both the dimensions are in meters. So, hope you have understood the approach towards this numerical. Thank you.